This is Joseph Albers. Joseph Albers was an artist that labored over color relationships a long time ago and made beautiful artworks as a result. Between 1950 and 1976, Joseph Albers used a single shape, the square, to emphasize color relationships and interactions in his paintings. He called these pieces homages to the square. A homage is like a tribute or something meant to honor something else. Joseph Albers was honoring the square. When we look at his paintings side by side, we can see how similar colors look different when next to other colors. Now, let's make our own homages to the square. You will need one large square of construction paper. This will be your background. You will also need two small squares of construction paper and one square of tissue paper. The tissue paper will allow you to create lighter or darker versions of a color. Next, you will need one large square of colored acetate or colored plastic. The acetate is see-through. This means you can layer it on top of other colors to create different versions of colors. You will also need two small squares of colored acetate. One large square of construction paper, two small squares of construction paper, one square of tissue paper, one large square of colored acetate, two small squares of colored acetate, and finally, a glue stick. Start by layering all of your squares in different ways. See what happens when certain colors mix with other colors. Don't settle for the first idea you come up with. Try a bunch. Once you've decided, you're ready to glue. When you glue, try to put the glue on the corners of each square. And start by gluing the layers on the bottom first, then work your way to the top layer. After gluing, you're finished, and you have your own homage to the square. Here are some examples of other student work to inspire you. And don't forget, have fun!